Hi folks, don't you just love your Roland FA06? Today I answer questions posted in the comments recently, but first... Say hello to Gizzy. No mortal I can see her or hear her as she passes by. Let's talk you through the process step by step. First you push the song select button. Now you will see there that right under the sample column all those little um, squares indicate that those particular songs have samples. So we come down here now and we load this one. The pads with samples are lighted and the ones that are not lighted have no samples. We press pad utility and it lights green. We have four banks of pads so even though we have 16 buttons we can have actually uh, 64 uh, samples. When the pad utility button is pressed this is also indicated over in your main display as you can see bank 1 shows the 16 and uh, bank 2 has those and bank 3 and 4 are empty. So over in the main display when the pad utility button is pushed not only do we see which of the pads are lighted but we also see what's in them. We can see the name of the sample associated with the pad. Now this is a very useful screen as you can see we have gate, loop and effect switch under each of them. Uh, when they are dull like that, they are switched off. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we ha all of our samples here are gated and there's no looping. The samples are not looped and we're not using effects on them. And uh, the only ones that are not gated are the lead lick and the fork of life vocal one and two. If we have it gated that means that when we touch it and we release it, it does nothing. We have to hold it down in order for it to play. Alternatively we can press one or more of them and press the hold button and then they will flash like that. any point in time we can cancel by pressing the hold button. So that is the meaning of gated. Now the ones where the gate is not lighted, you simply press it. And it plays and stops. It plays till the end and stops. So you don't need to hold it. I have an empty slot and underneath it I have the vocal track one for my satellite song. Uh, here, see I have four tracks here, two, three and four and uh, I have it in the one below. So what I want to do is I want to move this here into the empty slot. Here's how you move it. Touch the one you want to move. Touch the clipboard touched where you want it to go to and release the clipboard. Simple as that. One, two, three and you're done. As you can see the lead lick which you heard just now is not gated, there is no light in the gate and uh, that's why it played to completion. If you change your mind and want to make it gated Taking it gated or ungated is just a question of pressing the sample edit once the square is highlighted on the particular sample you want to deal with. Press the sample edit and uh, over here sir, see where it says gate you simply move the cursor down to gate and you can turn the gate on and off. 
with that simple thing and then just press exit when you're done. Now in the last video a quick user noticed that in track 10 where I have my drum track I had Steven's kit so they said oh can you create your own kits and save them of course we can we will now show you how with the highlight on uh, the kit whatever it is we simply press the menu button and we press tone edit and lo and behold as you can see there is Steven's kit and uh, it is in the user section and we are editing it now what can we edit in uh, the kit well we can change the sounds here I have the studio kick associated with key number 36 and of course we can change the sound as well this is a wonderful way to edit not only your sounds but where they're allocated to in addition to that we can set up a phrase to play on our kit the drum kit level some ambience and then some compression and some equalization and even some multi effects and multi effects control so certainly I have to teach you a lot about customizing your kits in future videos but today all I did to make my Stevens kit different from the current preset kit was to change the allocation of the various drums to the keys that's the primary example so when you go in there and you do that how do you do that well you come down here there is the keys there is the thing so you can either change that for the key or you can change the key for that just uh, rotate the wheel to whatever you want and when you're done you press exit now if you've made any changes to your kit you're going to have to save your kit are you going to save it back to the same user location or if you have edited a preset kit then you will have to save it to another location this time you press the right button right w-r-i-t-e and you get the right menu and you want to save it as a tone because the kit is actually a tone I think this is what freaks the people out you come down here now see where it says tone part 10 so you select that one and this is where it is you see user 1 Stevens kit and I saved so you can just press the right and you can overwrite Steven's kit or if you've made changes and want to save it as a new kit then you just rotate the wheel see init kit initialized kit and then you press press rename and you can rename Steven's kit to whatever you want you press OK and then when you're ready to write the kit after you've named it something else to the init kit you press the right button much for watching our videos we hope you will love them and uh, subscribe 
and even consider becoming a supporter, a patron on Patreon. See you in the next video.